Pulley Cyphunk. As you see on that last scene, we're going to watch an incredible Fahu game. But um, they're just starting now, so they're a bit ahead of us. We need to wait five minutes to surpass the delay before we can obs that game. Let me get my um, scoreboard set up. Let's see, we got Para in the blue trunks will be playing Soviets against Incredible Fahu in the red trunks playing Okabe. So, Para. Fahu. All right, there we go. Prize pool over 2K. Insane. Just insane. I can't believe you guys. <laughs> that is an amazing show of support. We're very excited. How's everybody doing? Is Love Nest here? People are talking about Love Nest. Tell a dirty joke. All right. I'll tell a dirty joke, but it's really dirty. Okay? And racist. No, I won't tell it. I can't. I can't tell a dirty racist joke on Sunday Night Fights. We're a classy channel. We're a classy place. I can't tell a dirty joke. I can tell a not dirty joke. How about that? All right. A guy and his dog walk into a bar. A uh, guy says, if I can prove to you that my dog can talk. He's uh, talking to the bartender, of course. If I can prove to you that my dog can talk, will you buy me a free beer? The bartender's like, your dog can talk. Like, talk English. Man, if your dog can talk, I'll give you two beers. And so the guy's like, sweet, we got this. And he turns to his dog and he says, uh, what's this over our... Uh, no, wait, let's see. I gotta get this right. <laughs> Comedic timing. You suck at telling jokes. You forgot. I, I, I got him in the wrong order. Okay. Guy says to his dog, yo, dog. What does sandpaper feel like? The dog goes, rough, rough. The guy's like, see? Rough. The sandpaper is rough. And the bartender's like, that's nonsense. He just barked. And the guy says, all right, hold on a second. The guy says, hold on a second. The guys, I forgot the joke. <laughs> I forgot the second part of the joke. God damn it. How much time, how much time do I have to kill? Um, damn, two more minutes. Okay, okay, hold on a second. Yeah, what's sandpaper feel like? Yeah, it's, it's rough. Um, uh, I can't I can't freaking remember the second part of the joke. Google it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most disaster joke ever. <laughs> Love us. Tell a joke. Wow. I must be getting old. GG. GG joke. All right. So then there's the second part. Where he asks the dog a question, and the dog barks. I'm really upset now. I don't like stuff like this because I have to. Um. Oh wait, this dude's got it. Hold on a second. <laughs> uh, oh no wonder. I thought that was the third part of the joke. Okay, don't go to that link. <laughs> That's my joke. Um. Oh, no wonder I couldn't, because I got, I thought two parts were, I thought two different parts were just one part. All right. So I did, so my first part was right. Okay, I'm going to start over. Fuck you guys. I'm starting over. <laughs> don't go to that link. I don't need it now. I don't need the link. I turned it off. We st All right, I can tell it. Ready? Guy and the dog walks into his bar. <laughs> I'm going to start over. Hold on. Guy and the dog walk into a bar. They say to the bartender, if I can prove to you that my dog can talk, will you buy us a, uh, a round of beers? Bartender says, a round of beers? To see a dog talk? Oh, hell yeah, I'll get you a round of beers. 
Guy says, all right, check this out. Dog, what's this over our head? Dog goes, roof, roof. And the guy's like, see, roof, over our head. The guy's like, hey, the dog's just barking. That's, that doesn't count. And then uh, the guy says, all right, all right, all right, hold on. Dog, what does sandpaper feel like? Dog, dog goes, rough, rough. Dude turns to the bartender. He's like, see, rough. It's like rough on your fingers when you touch sandpaper. And the bartender says, man, this you're trying to scam me, man. This is a hustle. I'm not buying it. Hold on. The game's game starting. I got to pause it. And all right. So then the guy turns to his dog and he says, dog, for a round of beers, who's the greatest baseball player that ever lived? The dog goes, Ruth, Ruth. The guy's like, Babe Ruth. The New York Yankees slugger, the greatest baseball player that ever lived. Come on, you owe us a round of beers. Bartender's like, get the hell out of here. All your dog can do is bark. So the guy and the dog are walking down the street, and the dog looks at the guy, and he says, you think I should have said DiMaggio? Ta -da! That's the joke. All right, I nailed it. Okay, we're going in game. <laughs> All right, that was painful. Thank goodness for Google, right? And savvy Twitch viewers that can link jokes that you forget. All right, here we go, guys. Incredible Fahu versus Para. Let's do this. Kill the tunes. Start the replay. Bang. It's not a replay. Well, it kind of is. It's being fed into my computer live and direct by OBS mode. Look, somebody laughed, but probably at me, not with me. Oh, well. My better jokes are really rude. But I'm not going to tell those on SNF where you guys can like post the video to Relic and stuff. Because you would do that. I know you guys. I know how you guys work. I tell a really racist joke. You totally take it out of context. You post just the worst racist part. And then you're like, I'm a racist. And you spread it all over Reddit. And Von Ivan makes a website about it. And, you know, I know how you guys are. I know how you guys are. I'm not going to fall for those tricks. Fresh conscripts have arrived. Okay. In the north, we're on Famineville once again. Playing the conscripts in the blue trunks. It is a player that I don't know too much about, actually, but he must be at the top if he's playing uh, one of the highest l ranked ELO games in our live game section of Company Heroes. It is Para. You'd think he'd be going USF and bringing in some paratroopers, but he's not. He's going, he's going Soviets. He's fighting a very famous streamer, our German friend in the red trunks, playing the Germans. He's playing uh, Okave, the Oberkommando vest. It's Incredible Fahu. Incredible Fahu recently did a 72-hour Company of Heroes 2 stream. That's dedication. I would eat dinner and go to bed, and I would watch him stream. I'd wake up the next morning, he'd be streaming, and then I'd do a bunch of stuff, and then that night he'd still be streaming, and then I'd go to sleep again, and then in the morning he'd still be streaming. <laughs> Incredible. 72 hours straight of Company of Heroes 2. Fahu wins the endurance reward. All right, he's got Para surrounded. Para was thinking about getting in that house, but then he just said, nuh uh. That's the done, yeah. Goodbye. I'm out of here. This is interesting. He might be preventing this truck from parking, or maybe the park, maybe the truck just wants to push him around a bit. The truck is inactive at the moment. Fact, who might be paying attention to this skirmish. Okay, those conscripts are sent. Now maybe he can give some love over here. He does have another squad in the middle. Bonjour. C'est la vie. Où est la toilette? Area secure. Octo. That's the extent of my French. This is what we trained for. The evil Germans. We train to kill the Soviets. It's pure Fox Grenadier spam from Fahu, his fourth squad, making its way onto the battlefield. Gruppe! Gruppe! 
Okay, we got team. Flammenwerfer equipped engineers. They're going to hurdle. And they're going to hurdle. And then they're going to shift Q. Come on, let's get moving, boys. We don't have time to waste. There's a war happening. Quit dilly-dallying. All right. Are you ever going to fire, you little bastards? That's what these conscripts are saying to the engineers. Nope. We just wanted to show that we had a weapon to make the guys run away. We're not actually going to fire it. In fact, we don't even have any oil in our back, in our canisters, in our back. We're on empty. It was just a bluff, but it worked. And uh, maybe we can maybe we can get some fuel off of this, off this scout car. Whoa, that is a funny skin, right? Look at that. It's like little trees. I've never seen this one before. This is an official skin. Little trees. <laughs> That's new to me. Okay, everybody's got fuel. He's ready to pour burning oil in on these Grenadier and they're going to run away. We're going to need new uniforms after this. they going to be covered in soot, grease, charred flesh. It's going to be horrible. These guys are going to have to go straight to the infirmary. Uh-oh, this dude. This dude ain't going anywhere. This dude's going six feet under is where he's going. Surely Fahu has seen this kind of thing before, and he responds with a Raketenwerfer that will be joining us shortly. From where? Let's see. It's, it's, where is it? There he is. He's coming right up the middle. Let us at that rascal. We'll get him. We'll get him. We'll stop the reign of terror. Look at that goofy paint job. Get out and repair, guys. Multitask. Repair and cap. White scout gun. We are ready to that build it or blow is it. the personification of efficiency. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. Of the Soviet Union. What are they doing now? Putting the mine down. Got a little surprise for you, rascal krauts. Oh, not only does a Rakatenberg come, but an unlocked. Oh, the first shot just misses entirely. But combined, Shrek and Rakatenberg are able to one two punch that M3 and it falls. Um, Pero is smart to get his engineers out ahead of time. They don't suffer too much damage, and they're able to continue the fight. Now the Shrek squad says, man, our duty's done. We're out of here. Guards are coming on the field. It's going to be a while before they make their way to the front line. Soft retreat from the combat engineers. That's brave. Meanwhile, Pero's capping the map. Fahu who's doing his own little bit of capping. The reinforcements are back. Run, comrades! I got a joke for you guys. How do you tell the difference between hold fire and prioritize vehicle on an anti-tank unit? punchline is you don't ah -ha. you fell for that one you fell for that one okay the guards are here they want to prevent this flag from reaching the bottom of the pole they do so the grenadiers are finished they will head home oh we got some guys who found the mine Three unhappy folks gonna deal. Oh, look, they're, they're all right. They're gonna make it. Look, they're gonna get up. Get up. Where are you crawling to? The base is, you're going the wrong way. They're like, we're dead. It doesn't matter. You guys are crawling the, we just want to see the sea one more time. We just want to see the sea, please. When I was a boy, I used to swim in a lake. And look at the moon late at night and smoke a cigarette. When, I, when he was a boy, when he was 15. I just want to see the lake one more time. They're not going to make it. Poor saps. 
Okay, 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 sorry. Action, action, action. Right, right, right. Right. We got a mortar out. We got a skirmish. A very long lasting skirmish there. This was the this is where the excitement lies. False Sherm Jaegers against conscripts. Four of them and ten of these guys. Uh oh, tough retreat. Let's see if Fahu can focus him down. Let's see if he can focus him down. He's not only going to focus, but he's going to run and block him a bit. we got mortar rounds falling. They're going to get these guys. They are determined to get these guys. But they're not going to get those guys. And now the mouse is chasing the cat. And it's the Fallschirm Jaegers that risk annihilation. But somehow they too will escape. Everybody's lucky today. It's Lucky Ducky 2K OCF Day. I'm liking what I'm seeing from our allied players on Sunday Night Fights channel today. Everybody plays allies very aggressively, and that's what you got to do. You can't let these cockroaches get all set up. Then you can never dig them out. All right, Mortar is caught a little bit too far forward. This Panzer Shrek up Grenadier squad. They shouldn't be able to stay very long as Para's conscripts are fully reinforced and ready to fight. They're just going to stand out in the middle of nothing and fight. But, you know, they're close range and they got them outnumbered, so they are going to win that engagement. But Fahu's going to get a bit of it. Achtung! Bist du bereit? Ich bin bereit, ich bin bereit. You know what that is? That's what SpongeBob says. I'm ready, I'm ready. Ich bin bereit, ich bin bereit. So funny watching cartoons in other languages. Oh, I love that way. I love to listen to the shells of the mortar fall. That's the off-map mortar, I believe. The 120 millimeter packs the extra punch. Look at this thing. Watch this. And listen to this. Oh, isn't it lovely? It's great. It's great. It's great. Man, we've seen some really hairy retreats survive today on Famineville. Everybody's getting a break. I'm telling you, lucky ducky, OCF 2K day. That's what. That's what we're. Das habe ich genannt. Dieser Tag heißt Glücklicher 2000 OCF Tag. Denkst du, dass ich ein ganze Spiel auf Deutsch shoutcasten kann? <laughs> ich denke nicht. Aber ich kann probieren. Ich habe keine Angst zu probieren. I would need a co-caster though. Maybe Fnatic and I will co-cast an OCF game in German. Would that be cool? I think that would be super cool. I'm going to make that happen, folks. Me and Fnatic co-casting co-casting 100% auf Deutsch. Oh, listen to it, man. Listen to it. Quad cow raging. Raging against the machine. The Okave machine. We got a Shrek, but I don't care. I got four guns that are going to pour bullets into you with the insane rate of fire. I'm going to limp home and get some repairs. Okay, look at Fahu, man. Top player. I mean, although it seems he's losing each engagement, look at the map. He's doing just fine. He's persistent. We have the point. Let's, give a, let's give a quick look at the tactical map. And you can see that Fahu has two victory points in his possession. And he is raising the flag on the third. That's not going to happen, though. Always preserving the squad is more important. Unless, of course, you're down to like three victory points. Then you might be forced to stay, but we're nowhere near that. Target 
There is an unlucky retreat. Finally, a squad is wiped. Let's see who will get this MG34. Are the expensive guards worth trying to capture it? Nope, the Volks are going to get it back. Fahu will preserve the weapon. I heard that the Soviets lost the squad. Maybe some conscripts over here? I think the Soviets lost some conscripts. Sorry, I missed that. I wanted to see who would capture the MG34. Looks like Fahu's going to get away with it. And the guards will leave. When are we going to see some vehicles? We got this We got this quad cow. He's getting repaired. But other than that... Oh, here we go. Tier 4 coming up. Predictions in the chat. What do you think Para will build from Tier 4? My guess would be SU-85, just in case. He doesn't need it yet, but... You never know. Better safe than sorry. Maybe he wants a Confucian. Fahu often has a large group of units by his base, so perhaps the Katsusha is the thing to build. Is the Katusha the build, or is the SU-85? SU-76, that's from Tier 3 now, isn't it? What are you talking about, dude? This is Tier 4. SU-76s don't come from Tier 4 anymore. He does have Tier 3 up, though, as well. So that is an option. But the question was, what will he build from Tier 4? You know, this is funny. He, he puts up... Oh, the S... The, wow, okay, the T-3485 is in Tier 4 now. I totally forgot that. This is relatively new, folks. This used to be only a call-in unit, but now you can get a T-3485, which is the, the T-34 with the big gun, out of Tier 4. This is great stuff. So we're seeing... I'm seeing a unit built from the standard tier for the first time. Happy day. That's nice. I like to see that. So you can get the normal T-34 here. Wait, no, what? What the heck? The T-34 is gone? Can you still get it? You can only get a T-34-85? I'm conf now I'm confused. Where's the normal T-34? What the heck? It's not in Tier 3 anymore? All right, now you guys got some explaining to do. How do you get a T-34-76? <laughs> Say what? Where's the T-3476? Please answer me in the chat. It seems to be gone entirely. You can recognize the 85 because he carries his larger shells in these huge ammo tubes, and he's also got the bigger front gun. No, no, no short snub nose nozzle. It's the full, strong 85 millimeter um, front gun. Cannon. Okay, T4 scroll second eye. What are you talking? Oh, here. Okay. All right. So you can get both the 76 and the 85 out of tier 4. This one's 300 manpower and 80 fuel. And this one's 380 manpower and 130 fuel. Why is the 76 in Tier 4? Why shouldn't the 76 stay in Tier 3? Is my question. Was it too strong in Tier 3? I don't get it. Why was the 76 moved to Tier 4? That seems strange. But okay. But okay. Thanks, Love Nest, for being all condescending. I'll remember that. I'm going to get you for that, Love Nest. I saw that. I saw that. Read the patch notes once in a while, Ami. Um I'm sure that's how you said it, too, in your head when you were typing it. You know, Ami, um might be a good idea to read the patch notes once in a while. I'd be like, love nest, please. Nice fight. Okabe Panther from Fahu. Spearheading the push into the center. He wants to kill this 85. He succeeds. Uh-oh. 
That is a massive loss for Para. He might be demoralized now. Will he throw in the towel? Vanilla Thunder feels me, right? Who reads the patch notes? I like to dis I like to discover the game firsthand on the battlefield. There's no shame in that. There's no shame. Fahu is raging. He knows the Panta Panzer is the big fish in the sea, and he's going to take every advantage of it. The quad is dead. How much more of this punishment can Para take? Let's get a nice portrait of the Panther, uh, shall we? Oh, it's just German steel. Look at this monster. He came in there and he killed the T-3485. He killed the M5 50 cal. What a badass. Actually, when it's a 50 cal, it's an M13, I think. That Panther has had his way with the Soviet forces. Just listen to it. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? Listen to this thing. Big diesel engine just making a mess. Making a mess of everything. Taking fire! Rawr! Rawr! Fahu's Panther swaying the battle. Now it's time to collect some, some map control. Thanks, Panther. Let us just go and collect the map now. Let me check into the bank of map control and collect my paycheck. Russian infantry are scrappy, though. There are a lot of them. Oh, check this out. That 1v1 fuel cache going up from Para. Yo, like, you just taking out a siesta? What's up with you? Why don't you go kill some stuff? It's still the big fish. I'm just gonna reverse and breathe my own exhaust for a little while, and then I'm gonna go hang out with my buddies in the base, because they're friendly. Look, they got a nice gun. I'm gonna hang out with them. Look at that. I'm, like, I'm only at 98% health. I need a top-up, guys. What a priss. This guy's such a priss. Dude, you're a priss! Get back in the battle, you big prissy! Not you, but the commander. He's hiding in there somewhere. Can we look inside the tank? No, 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 you're in there somewhere. Is there a guy in there? No, no guys in there. <laughs> All right, but you're a priss, man. What are you doing, sitting still, idle units? I'll tell you what, Fahu. He's like, Ami, I got this. Just relax, okay? My false germs are just gonna go in there and wreck everything. It's a panther, dude. It doesn't like fighting infantry, okay? I got other units to deal with that. What did they do? Did they get out and then throw a nade into the house thinking that... Whose nade was that? Whose nade is on cooldown? Oh, I think it was, might have been a Soviet nade, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, no, it was, it was Fahu. Wahoo is like, I'm going to exit this house and leave you a little surprise if you decide to garrison me, but Fahu overestimated the micro of his opponent, and that bundled nade blew up before Para even thought of getting in there. It was a, it was a nice tactical idea, though, to leave a little gift. It might have worked against a quicker player. All right, we got a new T-3485. Who's having a bit of difficulty? You don't want to show your ass to the Panzerfaust team. Or sorry, the Panzer Shrek team, because that's what they do. They give you rear armor shots right up the butt, so to be avoided if possible. Perhaps the Panther's plan is revealed now. Look, you got his little uh, top-mounted MG gun. Now you can go fight infantry. I'm not gonna leave my base. This is Love Nest voice. I'm not. 
Sprice is team sniping me. Oh my god. I'm not even gonna play. Sprice is such a meanie. He team sniped me like six times in a row. Oh my god. And he beat me like five of those times. I'm not gonna leave my base until I get a top mount MG. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, Love Ness. You know I love you, dude, but. The, w the window for trolling was open, so I just jumped right through it. <laughs> You'll get him next time, Sprite. Hey, Sturm Tiger Gaddafi is here. Love Nest Face Bomb. Hey, Sturm Tiger Gaddafi. Thanks a lot for the, the benefactor contribution to Operation Charlie Fox. We watched your clanmate, Sturm Tiger Yap, defeat Captain S. Sprite. To go where no love nest has gone before. He defeated Sprice easily in our first game of the day on Stalingrad. Now, if only love nest could, love nest could take some notes from Sturm Tiger Yap, perhaps he won't get so frustrated tonight when he tries to scream and Sprice snipes him again. <laughs> You're gonna regret this Sunday night fights. Oh yeah, that's right. You're out, you are coming to Berlin in like two weeks, right? Uh oh. And fuck. Let me tell you what, Loveness is a big fucking guy. <laughs> you don't want to upset this dude. He's like, yeah, I was thinking of going into the police academy or becoming a soldier. I mean, you do not want to mess with Loveness. He is a big dude. So, all right. I might live to regret that indeed. <laughs> uh, I could play the old man card though, right? You wouldn't, you wouldn't like punch an old man, would you? <sighs> all right. Fahu wants to rotate to the left because he's looking for this T3085, but the Paras 85 is rotating to the right, so these guys are playing musical chairs on Feynmanville. All I find is some engineers, but man, did he find them all right. Main gun. Kutunk. Three guys dead. Will they get them all? That would be a big hit against Triple Vet. These guys repair, repair really quickly. So Para does not want to lose. A triple Vet. Flamer team and another miraculous retreat that's like the third or fourth unbelievable retreat that we've seen if i had a uh soundboard i would play the chariots of fire dun, 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 dun. every time some unit tries to make a tough retreat I could go on. Whoa! It's not. It's not triple vet. It's not quadruple vet. It's Quinn Duffy triple vet. Quinn. Quint Duffy Tipple Vet. Quint Quint Duffy Vet. Quint Quint Tip Quint Quint Quintuple Quintuple Fee. Quintuple Quintuple Fee Duffy Vet. Quint Quintuffle Peter Quintle Peter Come see a vet Quintle Quintle Fimf. It's Fimf. Fimf Mal Vet. Fimf Mal Vet Stars. That's what that is. That's a lot of vet, man. Look at this guy. He's got it. He's got Quinn Duffy vet. And he's got Quinn Duffy vet. That's it. It's Quinn Duffy vet from now on. Quintuple Duffy vet. That's it. It's Quintuple Duffy vet. Quintuple. Quintuffy vet. It's Quintuffy vet. Yes! I got it. Wait, I got to write that down. Hold on a second. Oh, my God. I just... Quintuff... Remember this, guys. This is good. Quintuffy vet. There we go. Quintuffy vet. That is good, right? It's it's a combination of Quinn Duffy and Quinn Tuffle. Quinn Tuffy Vet, it's mine, I'm using it. I coined it. Copyright, Ami Polizei Funk. Um some some day in uh some day in May of 2015. Quinn Tuffy Vet. I like that. That's good. Look at these these guys have it. At Quinn Tuffy Vet you get Combert expertise. Which increases your rate of fire. That sounds pretty scary. So they can they can 
they can lay in more Panzer Shreks. Okay, we have two T-3485s 30 from Para. The second one is just going to join his buddy. Ooh, that's good looking. Screenshot time. Look, we need to make some screenshots. I would never do this, though, because one's facing one way and one's facing the other. These are like the dogs in that painting in um, in Goodfellas. Yeah, one. I look, I love this painting. One dog goes one way and one dog goes the other way. And this guy's saying, what are you looking at me for? You remember that scene when they're, when they're, when they're in the... Um, they had just murdered the dude with that huge knife. And they cut him up and he's in the trunk. And they go to like... They go to like Paulie's mom's house. And they're like, yeah, mom. I just, let me just borrow this steak knife for a second. I, I got a... I got a skin of deer. And they all laugh. You know? And then, then she's got this crazy painting. You know, the, the woman who plays the mom in that scene is actually Martin Scorsese's mother. That's a great freaking scene. One dog goes one way, one dog goes the other way. And this guy's saying, what do you want from me? <laughs> I love it. Okay, Fahu's got more armor. It's the Panzerfeer. Haus F. Yot. Medium tank. It comes with skirts with no bet. What's up with that? Why does he get skirts? He doesn't have bet yet. Ami confused. That'll be our next Twitch emote. Ami confused. He's always confused. What a drag it is to be confused all the time. Why does he get skirts? He doesn't have any vet. He doesn't deserve skirts. Skirts come with vet. Screw you, P4. You don't deserve them. Para's hanging in there. I mean, he, he got destroyed when the Panther first hit the field, but but then, you know, Prissy Panther just sat in the base for like five minutes. So, of course, Para's still in the game. I don't know why Prissy Panther didn't want to fight when he totally dominated the battlefield. But he was like, I'm only 90% health in Love Nest Boys. And he had to get his extra 2%. Now, T-34, 85's going all in. We're going to win. Check it out. Here we go again. They killed the Panther. One T-34-80 falls to the Quinn Duffy vet, Grenadiers. But, Para is able to take out the Panzerfeer. Wow. I don't know. We'd have to calculate the trade, but I think one T-34 for a Panther and a P-4 is a good deal for the Soviets. But, can he save the thing? The Quinn Duffy vet Grens are on the chase. Look at, we got one Kituffy vet there, and we got another Kituffy vet there. And th these, are, these guys are only, uh, these guys are only quad vets. They're nothing special, but these are double Kituffy vet grenadiers chasing this poor T-3485. And look at him, he ducks behind the hedgerow and escapes. Hey, these dudes, they got all sorts of guns. Look at this, they got, they got a whole, cult. they got three different guns on this squad. Look at this, anti-infantry, anti-tank. DPRS, and then there's like some dudes that like just have a rifle. I don't know. He got PTS. Up. There's one dude that just has a rifle. No, okay, two. Those are the runs to the litter. They're the guys that always mess up. They were lucky that they were given bullets, much less uh, a rifle at all. Okay, the, the tank escapes. Maybe someday it'll get repaired. Where do do these guys doing? They're fighting. They need to go be repairing. But they're they're busy flanking MGs and taking map. Man, this 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 contest. Paris Paris back in it, right? He's got another. Uh, I guess that's an 85 that's cooking. Another 85 is cooking. Another T34 85, not SU 85. We need to be clear. Quinn Tuffy Vet. You guys should have like an iron cross or something. I mean, five stars of vet and no decorations on your uniforms? And you can repair? You guys are so cool. Oh no, they're salvaging. They're salvaging that wreck. Soldaten. They got the 
sick icon. They got the Falcon Crawler icon, and they got the sick uniforms. Check out these. Check out the camo on these guys. Is that nice? That is so nice. You know there are all these World War II. Um, oh! <laughs> Stick nade! Oh, three oversold out and killed. What a nade! What a nade! Man, those guards. Just right. Oh, they killed the squad too. Hero guards. Man. He's microing these Quintuffy vet guys over in the south of the map, and he just threw away his first squad of Oberslot, and that's kind of a tragic setback for our uh, national socialists. <laughs> but I was going to mention that you, when, when you build little models, uh, you know, like 135th scale plastic models, often you want to adorn it with really cool figures, right? So you, you put some of these, like, stormtroopers with their beautiful, or not stormtroopers, of course. But like uh, soldiers with their beautiful camo jackets and those camo patterns with all the little dots that the Obersoldaten have, those are incredibly difficult to paint. You can paint them by hand, but you literally have to put like a thousand dots on each little uniform by hand with a tiny like single hair brush. I think there are some threads in our scrapyard of, of wonderful World War II models. My t you can see mine right over my shoulder. Maybe when there's a moment of quiet, I'll my t my tiger, my ti my co my co two tiger ace is is proudly displayed on my uh, dresser just over my shoulder. If you guys noticed? Uh oh, are they gonna swallow another one? Oh, they retreat, but sort of not in time. They still take the brunt of that nade. Man, this is turning into a good game. I thought Para was done for. For now, he's looking all right. Rocking those on map T3485 at a tier four. Fun to see how that works. But Fahu's scrappy, he's still capping. Let's have a look in his base. All his trucks are right next to each other. All four trucks. Look at this, he's got everything. Wow, are we going to see a King Tiger perhaps later? What happened? <laughs> Where the hell is... Okay, here we go. Incoming! Okay, he's got all the buildings. He needs 720 manpower and 260 fuel. So he's real shy on fuel. Very beautiful salvaging from Fahu. A lot of highly skilled players forget to do this in the even battle. Dry Mall Quinduffy Vet Grenadiera. And finally they micro away from guards nades. The Ubersoldaten were, were not so clever. Nicht so schlau. Isn't that funny that schlau means clever? You'd think that schlau, the way it sounds, means like slob or dirty or <laughs> gross. But schlau actually means clever in German. Oh, bist du schlau, kleine Junge. Everybody's licking their wounds, folks. We got a contest. I think this will be the last one I do. It's been a fun morning of streaming. I hope to do this a lot more over the next few months in the run-up. Particularly if you guys are going to keep bumping up that prize pool. That is just fantastic. We surpassed $2,000 prize pool for Operation Charlie Fox today. Hugely appreciated. This is going to be an awesome tournament. You can just feel it. It's going to be awesome. Under attack! We really got to name that palace. The, the big white house in the center of Famineville. Whoa, he's got three of them now. The skin looks really cool on them. I mean, it's still kind of weird, but I don't know. I like it. I like them being all kind of whitewashed. What's going on over here? MG trying to fend off guards and flank. What's going? What's this dude? What's this dude doing? Just Para feels like sending one tank in, and and Fahu, Fahu doesn't have any armor anymore, and Para has three T3485s. You see another P4 on the way, and we do have very strong. 
quintuffy that infantry. Maybe it's like maybe 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 so we don't make it such a direct reference. Maybe it should be quintuffy with like a T. Quintuffy vet. How about that? I like that. I think that's better than Quinduffy vet because that's too like just Quinduffy's name. <laughs> Poor guy. He's a friend of mine. We all love Quinn Duffy. Quinn Tuffy. Quinn Tuffy then. Quinn was fantastic in those historical videos where he puts the Brit units into context. He is just the man that you want behind the camera for that kind of piece. I think Willick did a great job. The lighting's all very beautiful. I, I very much enjoyed those videos where Quinn is talking about trying to capture the heart and soul of the British forces. That was nice. So we're going with Quinn Tuffy. With the T. There you go. Will, Willie too is here, has it? Quintuffy bit. It could be Quintuffle. Quintuffle bit. <laughs> Maybe Quintuffle is even better. Alright, will we have an engagement? Are these t tanks gonna butt heads? Surprise, Fahu, I got three of these bad boys. And what I really want to know, the T-34s are saying, is where'd you get those great skirts? Let's see, two guys are backing out of the fight, one guy's going forward. Why not go forward with all three? I'm a bit confused. One tank, wow, and he succeeded, okay, Parrot knows what he's doing, Ami has no clue. Because it's like, one tank is exactly what was needed. The tank is gonna die, fine, but he killed the P-4. So he didn't even need to suicide the other two tanks. Pretty darn good prediction from Para of what was required in that engagement to get the job done. Now, this this double vet tank is worth preserving and nurturing and giving some repair love. Let's see get a double vet. Hardened bruise. Better main gun targeting and rate of fire. That could make the that that's that single point of vet could make the difference in any game, my friends. Uh oh, Fahu's about to swallow a nade. Like deep throat swallow that nade, baby. Like it went one end in in it went one, in one end and and came out the other and broke everything inside. That is. That, that is the ramrod. That's two horrible nades that Fahu has just just eaten face first. Um, if, if Fahu can look at this cast, perhaps, maybe I will send this one to YouTube. Um, he needs to work on dodging nades, man. Got to gotta zip around the battlefield, look at all those crews. I mean, I couldn't do it, but uh, that's his task. His task is to dodge all those nades. I remember uh, Razor. Here's a nice story. Razor would tell a story about when Company of Heroes 1 was in the beta. This is in like October of, or like September of 2006. He would play games against his brother. And they were figuring out the meta. Um, and, you know, he learned that he should never tech to, to nades ever in a 1v1 because his Razor's brother, Bladed, learned how to dodge them. And Razor could never land a single grenade once once Bladed became proficient at dodging them. So Razor determined at that point that nades in a 1v1 were a no-go build for the American faction. Will top Co2 players reach the point where they're so good at dodging nades that people stop throwing them? Not yet, clearly, as Fahu has just been wrecked R-E-K-T by various nades in this contest and perhaps now the accumulative damage of all those lost squads is beginning to mount as the three T-34-85s take out the forward schlepper the tier 4 and now no King Tiger is available to Fahu if, even if he had an idea about that happening, I don't think it's any longer available after that first truck gets wrecked, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe he can still build it because he had the truck. I'm not 100% sure if, if one of you smart asses in chat would confirm that the, the KT is no longer available. Can I know by hovering? 
Not it only says not enough resources, so maybe it still is available. I'm not sure. The infantry's hanging in there, though. Look at that. They got one of the T-34s. And now they're on the chase. Well, a lot of indirect fire coming in. This, uh, these two mortars, we haven't mentioned them lately, but you know they've been a part of all of these fights. This, this heavy mortar, 120 millimeter mortar, has 17 kills and three stars of vet. Perhaps they're the true heroes of this fight. Just constantly putting the pain in against all of Fahu's infantry. I wonder if he got out because he suspected a nade was coming. He winds up getting out and positioning just perfectly. Now I'm leaning towards calling it for Para. 20 minutes ago, I was about to call this for Fahu. That would have been a blunder. Because now it's Para that seems to have the upper hand. Kuba9998 believes that Fahu is lost. Do you guys remember when Fahu had a, had a squad of Obers a lot? <laughs> they didn't last long. Oh, and you remember when he almost annihilated this triple that flamer squad? Now look. They wind up annihilating the Fallschirm Jaegers. Fahu's just lost too many units. <laughs> Rekretenwerfer's like, seriously, Hitler? You really want me to fight? Can I just retreat? Hitler's like, no! You can't retreat! And the Rekretenwerfer's like, but I'm just one little tiny gun, and they're three big nasty tanks. Hitler's like, nope, you got this. Keep fighting. But they just flank me. They kill all my mans. Keep fighting. I don't want to hear another word from you. If you retreat, I'll hang you in the town square. He's like, then hang me. I'm dead either way. I'm retreating. Seven, six, for the Rodina, five. Any threats to any VPs anywhere? No. We have less than four points, four. Fahu. A sad way to go out. No squad remotely near a victory point. He's just going to lay down and die. GG to Para. Congratulations, well done. You have defeated the popular KOTU personality and 72 hour streamer, Incredible Fahu. Good on you, well done. I'm gonna quit out of this. That squad preservation, though. That nade dodge, though. Uh, Fahu's gonna have to go back to the drawing board and dodge some of those nades and retreat a little earlier, etc. So thank you very much, everyone, for coming out on this Tuesday morning. I like these early morning streams. I wake up early, get my son off to school, have a coffee, and then I'm all, I got energy. You know, I'm ready to stream, ready to go. Fahu's in the stream. What's up, Fahu? Good game, man. <laughs> Hope I didn't ride you too hard there, but hey, you got to work on it. Um, yeah, thanks, everyone, for coming out. Let's re refresh the prize pool once again. That's what I like to do. Keep your eyes peeled. Let's see if we got any any contributions since I started the Fahu game. Hold on a second. Kotu won't let my mouse out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, I'm free. I'm refreshing. Powered by you. 21370 is now 23056. The prize pool just went up $27. Mm. Nice. Thank you, everyone. Let's see who is responsible. Recent contributors, Thrud. 
Nice username, bro. <laughs> Thrud. We have Thrud to thank. He bought five levels. We have Gestalt im Wald. Must be a German who purchased one level, which we appreciate. Every single level we appreciate. So thanks to Gestalt im Wald and Thrud, we are now over the hump of 2K and on our way to who knows what. I can't believe it. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Just amazing. How many of you are here on this Tuesday morning? 260 viewers. Not bad. Thank you for coming out. All right. That's it for me. Three games. A little short and sweet cast. Maybe I'll do it again sometime in the very near future. Keep your eyes peeled. Be sure you uh, follow. Be sure you follow the Sunday Night Fights channel. We're on a campaign. We have a problem. Helping Hands is now the most followed Company of Heroes 2 streamer. This is a problem that we must rectify. He has something like 6,400 followers. I don't know. We have 5,400 something. F almost 5,500. We got to catch him up. So if every single one of you 270 that is here, if you would please follow, if you're not following already, we would really appreciate it. Just press the purple button. But we would really appreciate it, and I can tell you why. All those followers, we can approach sponsors, SNF6, and we can say, we're the most followed channel. <coughs> we are the second most followed channel because of helping him. What? No. Come on, you guys. Follow the channel. Follow Sunday Night Fights so that we can approach sponsors for SNF6 and say, we are the most followed, most viewed over 1.6 million views on this channel, Company of Heroes channel. And um, this is the place to be, Sunday Night Fights. All right, thanks every, thanks very, very <laughs> thanks a lot, everyone. I'm Ami Poli, Tsai Funk, Twitter, SNF. Keep contributing. Excellent. Mad love. You guys have a great Tuesday, and we'll see you sometime soon. Tschüss.